Oh, you know what? Maybe... That's the banana tree out there, isn't it? Maybe we can... Let's see. Hit it with a rock? Yeah, maybe we can, like, there's a heap of rocks. Maybe we can pick up one of the rocks and drop it onto the primitive arts and then hit the banana tree. Maybe the aim was just a little off and it just hit our boat last time. I'll just put it here. Hey! On the right track. Okay, so now we gotta push it off. Did it hit? Nope. Miss. Is there any way to arrange the art? Hmm. Yeah, to like re-aim it maybe? Hmm. Because yeah, I think if we just keep putting rocks there, it'll just keep splashing. Take a look at it. It's either an incisive representation of the futility of man, or it's a log in a couple of rocks. Mm -mm. Okay, maybe there's some way to aim it. Let's try pulling it. Like, maybe, like, pulling the log towards us, mm -hmm. like, you know, kind of, you know, re-aiming it. There hey. we go. Okay, let's try it that way. It's aiming more to the... Yeah, okay. it's aiming more to the right. The shot was too far left before, so let's try it that way. Again, I gotta give this game props for being creative with stuff like that. You know, with any other- with- with another game, that would just be some stupid little gag. You know, not something that you'd actually have to use at some point. That's pretty cool. Most point-and-click adventure games are not this sophisticated. Oh, I think if we pull it, hmm. or push it, we are almost there. I think if we pull it one more time, we might get it. Alright, pull it one more time. Alright, let's give that a try. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be way off, but let's try it anyway. Yeah. That do it? Wow! Yep. Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. Let's go take a look. Sweet. Let's get some more bananas. That are incredible. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Man, it's amazing that this thing just keeps setting itself back up. Magic. Magic art. Alright, so let's head back down to the banana tree. Bananas! Oh, we got two bananas. Hmm. So what do you think we're... Alright, so the only... The only thing we were able to do with the bananas earlier was like, you know, give them to the monkey. There so he is. See. Well, there's the monkey. And he did follow us briefly before. Maybe now that we have two, he'll follow us farther? Maybe. <laughs> Give him a banana. There you go, monkey friend. Alright, we got another banana. Now if you follow us, and do our bidding, we'll give you one more banana. Alright, so let's go up. Go up to the pond. Oh, nope, he's not gonna follow us. Maybe he needs two bananas. Know where that came from. Are you gonna follow us now? Alright, maybe let's let's try will he follow us up to the crack? Well, we'll see what happens when we get there. <sighs> no, he didn't. There. I don't understand. What do we need to get the monkey to do? So what would you like to do? Would you like to find a way to blow the dam or figure out what the hell the deal with the monkey is? Eh, uh, the monkey's getting on my nerves. To keep right. feeding the damn thing. And he's not doing us anything in return. So maybe we did miss something at Herman's Fort. Maybe we do need to further inspect the cannon. Like, maybe there's like some gunpowder in there. We already looked at it, though. Open? It doesn't seem to open. No. What if you push or pull? Hmm. Or use? Pull, push, there we go, that did it. All right. Oh, well, hello. Hey, nice spyglass. Looks just like, say, where is my spyglass? Oh, Nothing, carry perfect. on. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. 
Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. No. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. It's dirt. I don't appreciate your implications, sir. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. You don't fool me, Sonny. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Alright, well, now I'm just gonna steal some more of your shit. Don't mind if I do. And might as well grab the cannonball as well. Okay, so we got gunpowder, we got a cannonball, we got a piece of flint. I think maybe we can probably blow the dam now, and then and then that'll flood the riverbed, which will like fill up the pond, which will like lift up that log, and lower um, Captain Corpsey, and then we can get the rope, and then we can get the oars, and then we can go to the rowboat, and then we can inspect the wreckage of the ship. All right. We got to know what the monkey thing was. <laughs> Neither too high. We'll just have to find that out later. Okay, so, first things first, let's use the gunpowder with the dam. Okay, and then we need to strike the flint on something metal. We've got a cannonball, so maybe we can use the flint. Okay, let's just try using the flint with the gunpowder. Flint works best with things made of steel. Okay. There we go. Holy shit. Oh! <laughs> it's just Water gonna take... slide. Oh, I thought it was gonna take us all the way there. I think it will. It did. You're... No, it just took us right there. Aww. We still gotta walk down to the pond. Guy brush. Well, at least you didn't drown. You gotta give him credit for that. Oh, and hey, he's just right sitting right here. Take it. Why, thank you. Don't mind if we do. Hope not use, you idiot. Pick up. I can't pick that up. Yes, try picking up the jungle. Alright, pick up rope. Yeah! Finally. Alright, what what do you say we get some oars? Eh, that sounds like a good idea to me. Alright. Go back to the crack. Okay, now let's walk down there. Where our first rope is still tied up. And now, use rope with sturdy stump. Oh, it doesn't look quite long enough, does it? Mm. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just head on down. Ah, no problem. All right, let's take the oars. All right, you know, is there anything else down here in the crack that we can... Ah, no, don't climb back up. No, I wanted to keep exploring. See if there's anything else down here, might as well, while we're here. It's spooky, and I'm not going any further. It's spooky, and I'm not going any further. All right, you pansy. It's spooky. It is spooky. All dark. Here, there might be a giant spider. <laughs> okay, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, we were going down to the beach. So now... So now maybe we can row to the other side of the island. Oh, I was thinking of just inspecting the wreckage, but yeah, we can we can totally just row to the other side of the island. That is a good idea. So let's use the oars. I can paddle it with these oars. Okay, do that. Hey! Oh God, it's gonna take us forever. Oh, there you go, speedboat. You know where was the? Oh, looks like we can't inspect our inspect the wreckage. Ship is just gone. That's too bad. He kind of looks like a flea. <laughs> All right, let's keep going around. We got this beach over here. Let's hope there's another there's a place we can land up there. All right, let's see. All right, let's keep going up. Yep, there's another beach over there that we can land. Oh, and look at that. Little hut. That's, That's gotta be the, where the cannibals gotta be the are. Cannibals. 
Looks like we're gonna have to make our way through the jungle to get to them. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We've navigated jungle mazes before. Oh, and there's another note. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. HT. Alright, just kind of reminding us of what we need to do. We need to get his banana picker. Mm-hmm. Even though he kind of tickly, technically has one with that uh, rock throwing thing. Yeah, that's true, but I mean, you know, it's not exactly efficient. One big rock for two little bananas. Oh, that's ominous, isn't it? Alright, well, we got lots of huts to look at, so let's just get to it. Try to find it's some cannibals. Hut. Oh, it's empty. I can't see inside from here. Oh, what's that one on the left? But I'll bet it's it's got a fancy door. Oh, yeah, it does. Or a fancy something. Or maybe statue. it's a statue, yeah. Ooh, lots of fruit. Big stone head. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Okay, can I knock? Can we just, uh... Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Okay, hmm, well we found the cannibals. We sort of. To... Sort of, but we found the Campbell's village. At least that's what it appears to be. Looks a little overripe, except for those nice juicy bananas. Well, I guess we can You're make, make them man. Take some more bananas for whatever good that's gonna do. No thanks. The rest is no good. It looks big and empty. Just like your head. Out. Man, is that really it? Try putting the bananas in the mouth. Putting the bananas in the mouth? What's that gonna do? Make it not empty. Okay. So we can't just use the bananas, so it's not gonna work. Whoa! -ho. Lemon head. Banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? You've got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Rawr. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? A monkey took it. <laughs> a three-headed monkey. Hmm. Uh, I say either that one or the first one. Well, hmm. He's not exactly a mighty pirate. They he don't know he, that. He thinks he is, but I have a feeling they're gonna see right through that ruse. Oh, let's just be bold. Oh, go ahead and eat me. See if I care. Hey, whatever you say, we might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. <laughs> nutritionist? Come, let me show you our guest hunt. Whoa, that, that was probably it. the banana picker. Those big old arms. Whoa, well, that's not exactly what I imagined. Jeez. Can't exactly put that in your pocket. Hey, he's put, he's put, you know, things, well, maybe not that large, but he's put things like that in his pockets before. Like what? He carried around a whole, well, I mean, we're carrying around a cannonball in our pocket right now. And there was something else that was ridiculously large that he was, like, carrying with him. Yeah, like the big pot that he used as a helmet. He's, 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 he's got pockets of holding. They're just bottomless. Oh, okay. 